Oh, 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 I can't wait to shock this dude, bro. Dion, 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 baby. Celine Dion. Little red, little red. He go big, little legs. Skinny kid with plenty. What's up, YouTube? It's Zite, aka Lil Red. And today we're reacting to the real reason the Lakers will lose in the Orlando bubble. Now, in the title, it says the Rondo injury. So. I guess this guy's saying we're going to lose because Rondo's hurt. Yeah, Rondo's our best player, I guess. He also has this clip of LeBron crying. So he, uh, he's obviously a Celtics fan or like a Warriors fan. So before we get into it, it's probably biased and it's probably going to frustrate me because I am a Lakers fan. Yes, I'm wearing a James Harden jersey. Shout out to Arizona because I just went to Arizona and they had this Arizona State College James Harden jersey, which is hard as hell. But we're about to get into the video, man. I'm still a Lakers fan, and we're going to win the championship this year. 28,000 views, and it was posted like three days ago. All right, so let, let's see. It's going to be one of these biased dudes. Yeah, 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 let's get in. So the Lakers will lose because Rajon Rondo broke his thumb. That sounds ridiculous. I mean, this isn't 24-year-old playoff. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, he used the title to make fun of the people who are saying this never mind my man i respect you because it's rondo first off if you're a lakers fan and you watch this season bro rondo is not it rondo's not it bro honestly i'd rather have quinn cook playing than rondo but the thing that i was hoping for is rondo turns it up in the playoffs bro especially like think about it bro when he was on the bulls the bulls were playing the celtics against isaiah thomas the bulls had dwayne wade rajon rondo and Jimmy Butler, right? And they went up like 2-0, 3-0 versus the Celtics. Rondo got hurt. They lost every single game after that. So, I mean, playoff Rondo is different, but come on now. Rondo. This is 34-year-old Rondo. Rondo is so old and slow now. He's living up to his turtle nickname. Is it me or does Roger Rondo look like that turtle named Franklin or Nick Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's too harsh. The Lakers won't <laughs> lose because of Rondo's injury. They were losing anyway. What? Rondo being out for about eight weeks just makes their issues even more obvious. And this video will explain why the Lakers were going to lose anyway and who's to blame. At the end, we'll talk. Okay, so never mind. He's still a Celtics fan. About what the Lakers will probably do to make up for this latest loss. All right, so back to the Lakers and Rondo. It is ridiculous for Laker fans to be upset that Rondo is hurt. I mean, they've why? been complaining about this guy all year. No, no, no. Yes, exactly. But it's playoff Rondo, bro. Playoff Rondo is different than regular season Rondo. I'm telling you, bro. This is why I was hyped. Like, Rondo could turn it up in the playoffs. But I was tired of him. The regular season, he was trash, bro. The worst player on defense. Yeah. His stats are awful. Now yeah. that he's out, you can't suddenly cry about it. Yes, his stats do suck. But it's not Rondo's fault. It's what's wrong with the Lakers in general. But the... Bro, have you watched Rondo? This dude plays out of control. He don't even know what he's doing. He comes in and di he disrupts the whole flow of our offense. Like, come on, bro. The stats are pretty bad. I mean, the Lakers offense just isn't good in Rondo's hands. They outscore opponents yeah. by just about one point per 100 possessions with Rondo on the floor. That is the worst like I said, Lakers bro. who has spent the entire year on the roster. Like when I he said. Goes to the bench, that number goes up to about 10 points per 100 possessions. The I'm telling you, bro. He comes in and disrupts our flow on offense. Like he's he doesn't play with the same tempo as the rest of the team. I don't like I've I don't know. I think he thinks too much, bro. It's playoff Rondo, bro. Playoff Rondo's different. Highest total of any full-time Laker. Bottom line, without Rondo, they have been the number four offense in the league. I'm telling with you, Rondo, the twenty-second. It's just proving. So this is just proving Rondo what I'm saying. Actually, be a good thing because statistically, he is the worst Laker. Well, this is where stats can be misleading because Rondo is the only other true point guard besides Alex Caruso. So Rondo runs the team when LeBron James sits and surprise, surprise, the Lakers aren't very good without LeBron. Bottom line, this isn't a Rondo problem. This is a Laker problem. Shut up, bro. This is, see, this is where I mean, people are gonna stretch, bro. They take one little piece of evidence that isn't even related to like their theory and they stretch it to try to prove it to the theory bro i just said rondo disrupts our flow on offense he's not the reason that, like he's not he doesn't make oh. the team chose to ignore not having a secondary playmaker on their roster okay i do agree go with rajon rondo and now they're screwed yes, but he's a playmaker though try to get darren collison 
But after that, Darren trade, Collison didn't want to come. They've added. Martin we should have traded for Derrick Rose, Deion bro. Waiters, JR Smith, hey, Jack. don't sleep on Dion, Dion, bro. Their biggest issue was not having another ball handler and someone to run the offense when LeBron sits. Dion. Now Rob Plinka's Dion. mistake will ruin their season. No, Dion, bro. At the trade deadline, they chose not to trade for a backup point guard. Derrick Rose, yeah. That package would have centered around Kyle Kuzma, but they didn't want to give him up. What? Right, yeah. We have no idea what Kuzma is going to look like in the playoffs. But I did hear that Kuzma is playing really, really good in, in the bubble right now. Like, practice facility, like, I already shown out. But, like, that's just the Lakers talking. That's just our coach talking. Who knows? Who knows? Backup point guards on bad teams were available. Too. And so I wanted I mean, Derrick Rose. Really hard for Derrick Rose. I wanted Rose. You're telling me Jeff Teague wasn't available. Jeff Teague. They tried to trade for Dennis Schroeder, but weren't willing Ooh. to pay the price. Why not? Schroeder would be perfect to run the offense when LeBron is resting. But no, the Lakers stood pat because LeBron James covers up all their issues. And this isn't a surprise. Any Laker fan out there knows this issue has stared them in the face all year. The it, the, it, but I don't think it's as big an issue as you're making it. I understand we don't have a second playmaker, but we're still good when LeBron comes out of the game. Honestly, sometimes we could be better when LeBron comes out of the game. Like LeBron's whatever. All right, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say LeBron's whatever as a Lakers fan. When we come out, we still got scores, and I think Deion Waiters is going to surprise you. Deion Waiters is going to surprise you. I'm telling you right now, bro. That man's going to be running pick and rolls for days. Then we got JR in the corner, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Our offense isn't going to be bad. We got Caruso making – bro, Caruso – I don't know. Crusoe does everything. He, he's a good off-ball player. Like, I understand he's not our best playmaker, but he's a good off-ball player. I'm telling you. The team Dion. Been good don't sleep on Dion. Don't sleep on Dion. At least be average. Don't sleep on Dion. When LeBron James has to take at least a few minutes off. He is 35 years old. Instead, Rob Palenka did not act, and this is on him. Actually, you could say this is on LeBron James because he covers up all the issues. I mean, he's so good, it could be a blessing or a curse. In this case, a curse. Too many times this year, the bench unit, led by Rondo, blew leads, and then LeBron and AD had to come back in and save the day. And the Lakers' regular season record was so good that, hey, no problem, right? Wrong. The inexperienced Lakers front office just pretended like this was an issue that they could live with. They acted like... I don't think we were led by Rondo. <laughs> We weren't led by Rondo, bro. Honestly, Rondo barely even played. Like, if you really watched the Lakers, Rondo barely like at the towards the end, Rondo wasn't even playing, bro. We start we stopped playing Rondo. Honestly, Caruso was playing more than Rondo. Like, our you're basing our whole second unit off Rondo being our best player. He's not. Like he would honestly, Rondo's like our third string point card. Like, I don't even know what you're tripping about. Like talking about. Like Rondo being our leader. Run their offense when LeBron wasn't on the court wasn't a big deal. But I do under I because I'm not, I'm gonna stop pausing. I, 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 Look, I'm I do understand the playmaker though. Winning a playoff series, but it will be different in the bubble. There will be a higher rate of injury, and there will be more games. Why would you say that? Time. So yes, depth. Why would you say that, bro? Speaking of depth, just how much have they lost here? Well, oh, Avery. The Lakers lost. 45 minutes of death between Rondo and Avery. No, Jones. Avery, bro. That means it is the... Avery hurts more than Rondo. Avery hurts... The Avery loss hurts way more than Rondo, bro. Avery Bradley was balling, bro. All right, here we go, Caruso. Caruso, baby. Seriously, Alex Caruso's clothing line is going to sell out by the time this thing's over. As soon as Avery Bradley went down, I knew the bald eagle was getting a lot more minutes. I mean, their options are terrible. The bald ego? <laughs> Quinn Cook, Deion Waiters, J.R. Smith. Yo, why do you think Deion Waiters is bad, bro? Hey, playoff Deion's different, too. You remember him on the Heat, bro, in the playoffs that one year when the Heat were like the AC, bro? Deion was bowling, bro. I'm telling you, J.R. Smith's got that playoff experience. These players are different in the playoffs. I don't know about Quinn because Quinn really doesn't. He hasn't been getting the minutes like he deserves, but Quinn's not bad. When Quinn, Quinn's a microwave. When he gets high, he makes one shot, bro. He's on. Alex Caruso. Caruso is clearly their best defensive no. option here. But he'll have to play um. Rondo's role, too. 
And that means this will be a career defining two months for everyone's favorite balding 26 year old. Okay, bro, I can't, you're hyping Caruso up. For Caruso to get more minutes all season. Oh, you're going to get it, whether you like it or uh, not. Yeah. You're going to have to depend on Caruso in big playoff moments. If he comes through for LeBron James in the playoffs, dude is set for life. He will always be. Are you hyping Caruso up so much, bro? Be a winner in the playoffs. Why are you hyping Caruso up? <laughs> like Andre Miller back in the day, George Hill, or Rajon Rondo now. But if Caruso I changed my mind though. He is probably our best, best defense player out of those four he showed. But Dion, I'm telling you, bro. Dion Waiters, bro. You guys are gonna get shocked by Dion Waiters. Dion Waiters is gonna play better than Caruso. And I think Quinn Cook's gonna come out too. He's gonna play nice. JR is just JR is gonna be another Danny Green for us. Russo cannot handle this role. He will fade away, and LeBron won't win that fourth ring. Realistically, the Lakers will probably end up playing LeBron 40 plus minutes per game in the playoffs, and I am so nervous about what that means for a 35-year-old coming bro. a four-month break. Stop saying that shit. At a high level, age is catching up to him. Yo, stop, stop. Major injury last season. Age had a lot to do. That was not a major injury, bro. That was not a major. He just pulled. He just pulled a muscle, bro. That's not a major injury. And the chances of his season ending early go way up. Stop, bro. Feel bad for LeBron James. Yo, why would you say that? Team is all in for the playoffs. It's the LA Lakers now because the Lakers front office refused to get a second playmaker. LeBron's chances at another title are slim. Nah. Beyond AD and LeBron, this team is average at best. Oh. Now, some of you are going to point to Mario Chalmers. Well, obviously, you're naming the two superstars, bro. Like, you take away two superstars, average at best. Like, that's still good. <laughs> that's like saying, without Giannis and Middleton, the Bucks are average at best. Obviously, bro, without Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, the Clippers are average. Bro, what's well? Obviously, every team's like that. That's a superstar. Media that he's ready to step up. Chalmers did win two championships with LeBron James. Stop! The but besides Stop. the fact that he's 34 years old, <laughs> Chalmers, in <laughs> this ain't gonna happen. The Lakers Chalmers. are eligible to sign a replacement player for Rondo, so forget it. <laughs> Chalmers. There is the wild card of Dion Wade. Thank you. And Here we go. Smith. I know a go. lot of people are saying that they will play a big role in the playoffs. Dion. But first off, none Dion. Of the guy is really a playmaker, so they're not going to fill in for Rondo. I mean, Dion Waiters is a little more than Jr., but they're both streaky shooters. Secondly, I don't trust either of these guys in a big playoff moment. Let's recap. Dion Waiters was on the Thunder. Whoa! Why are you going back to the Thunder, bro? Go to the Heat, Dion. Go to Heat, Dion. You want to go to Heat Dion? Bro, I'm telling you right now, Heat Dion. I'm going to the next video, I'm reacting to Heat Dion, bro. In 2016, OKC no. should have lost to the Spurs because of him. He elbows Manu Ginobili here on an inbounds pass. Lucky that wasn't called. Then he throws the ball away. Lucky the Spurs couldn't score. J.R. Smith, though, of course, will always be remembered for the dumbest. That's the one, the bro. No, the no, 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 Game tied, seconds ticking. Back. I hate when JR people do this, bro. No idea what's going on. He okay, the, the JR one. Or dribbles it out instead of trying to win the game. Okay, I hate when people take one play from a player and start like labeling them as that bad player. Like, come on, bro. I could come up with like three different games, not not plays. Like, I could come up at least twenty plays, three different games where Dion Waiters was carrying the Heat in the playoffs, bro. Like, you guys don't, I don't think you guys know about Deion Waiters. Yes, he hasn't been playing for a little bit, but Deion Waiters is going to shock a lot of you guys. J.R. Smith has that experience. Like, he had one bad play. Yes, it was really, really bad, but come on. Were they even going to win that series? No, they got swept that series. Like, come on, my guy. Game. When Dion wasn't eating weed gummies this year, he played in just three games. JR hasn't played in 20 months. That's your I argument. That's a good early argument. On that these guys would get close to zero minutes between them for the Lakers. Frank Vogel just said in the bubble, they will lean mostly on Dion Waiters. And yes. I'm so thrilled. But also like the prospects of seeing what Dion Waiters can do. You know, and, I'm uh, telling you, bro. You know, two really good basketball players that we added uh, late in our season that do different things. You know, losing Rondo uh, puts more of a need on uh, Dion's skill set. So, yep. Uh, 
you know, I look forward to, to seeing what he can do more. I'm uh, telling you. To games. Listen to those, me. All of those guys will pick up the slack. Yes. Oh, Coach man. Coach Vogel did sound so excited there because, really, neither guy is dependable in the playoffs. Oh, 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 I can't wait to shock this dude, bro. I cannot wait. Let's go, Dion. Dion, 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 baby. Celine Dion. We ready, bro. I'm I'm playing some highlights. Oh, oh you don't know about Dion, bro. You don't know about Dion. We'll see what Dion still has, apparently. You don't know about there Dion. There is a chance he makes a difference. Waiters is just 28 years old, so technically he's still in his prime. You he don't know about Dion. Last year at point guard for the Miami Heat. Yeah. He's used to coming off the bench, and he's played more recently. Yes, we're going to talk about the Heat. He actually scored 14 points off the bench against the Clippers in January. I'm telling you. In the biggest playoff moments, Dion Waiters isn't good enough to rely on. I'm telling you. It'll come down to LeBron and more LeBron when it matters most. Uh-uh. Bottom line, the front office totally messed up when they didn't sign or... No. All right, that's the end of the video. I'm not watching the rest what this guy's got to say. This guy's just ignorant, okay? Ignorance not a bad thing. He just doesn't know. He don't know about Dion, bro. He don't know about playoff Dion. And he thinks Rondo's the leader of our team on the bench. Like, bro, you ain't no Lakers fan. No Lakers fan thinks that, okay? J.R. Smith, he's got that experience in the playoffs. He's had one bad play. Yes, but they, ain't, they weren't even going to win that finals anyways like come on bro they got sweat they were getting their ass beat every single game okay like there are the two theories proved wrong yes you were hyping caruso up for no reason like caruso is good like he's got the iq he does the things that we need him to do on the court but he's not like our best player like honestly i never heard of a laker fan be like caruso needs so much more minutes honestly i think queen cook needs more minutes queen cook bro that dude is a streaky shooter. We want to talk about streaky shooters. He's a microwave. He makes one. He's going to make seven in a row. And I can react to highlights of that too. So that's what we're about to get into. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed, if you agreed with anything I said, if you agreed with anything he said, leave it to comment down below, okay? Also, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because I do reactions on basketball, basketball talk, 2K videos, anything related to do with basketball, send them my way, bro. Send them my ways. Follow me on Twitter. DM me some videos you want me to react to. Anyways, y'all, this is ZT. Peace.